Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to paint this rainbow parrot in watercolor. The materials that I use today is all in the description box below. Um, I already put some uh, masking fluid here so I can do the background without um, put some colors in my flowers that's going to have a, a lot of highlights and I don't want the blue get my highlights so I put the masking fluids that help a lot to keep my whites white and um, I start with the background like always this is um, Canson Extra Large watercolor paper, 140 pounds, 300, uh, 300 uh, grams. Uh, it's not uh, expensive paper, but I love this paper because the colors keep so bright and nice. And I don't use my skin fluid, uh, sorry, I don't use uh, tape here because I put the tape around so it looks like a block and uh, it keeps the uh, sheets together and didn't buckle but I, I like this paper because even when I use masking fluid the paper didn't rip it off and I have a stone hedge that's an expensive paper and every time that I use masking fluid there it's just ruined my, my work it's so annoying and this paper is not expensive and make, I just don't I can't see the difference between this paper and the stone hatch the only difference that I can see is this paper is better because it didn't rip off the other paper is always ruined when I put masking fluids so I already try everything I try uh, the first time I used, I thought maybe my masking fluid is old, and then I, I bought a new one. And then the second time I say maybe I take it off the masking fluid too early, my paper was wet. And then the third time that I use it, I, I make sure that it was really, really dry. And either way, it's just mess up. So I'm not happy. <laughs> Well, as you can see here, I start putting already the, the colors. I try to put my uh, mix palette close to the camera so you guys can see the mixture that I'm doing, but uh, as you can see, it didn't work well. <laughs> I think my space in front of the camera is not that nice because I want to have like a close-up. I want you guys to see what I'm doing there. So I hope, I hope that it's not a problem. <laughs> so I'm doing a mixture in the beak. I'm doing with uh, wet and wet. So uh, when I apply the first layer that was the, the white, the, the yellow orange, I start to apply other layers on top. So it helps to blend really well. And, and then I, I start to doing some uh, more shadows, the parts that are going to be darker. Uh, I, got, I like to start with the darker parts and I start lighter so I can put more uh, layers and like slowly so there is no uh, worry to do something wrong because if I do something wrong I still can fix it because the layers are still uh, wet uh, I mean it's still uh, light so I can put other layers and make darker and everything I put in some put some feathers, so uh, with dark blue, and 
when it starts to uh, rain for dry, I can do other parts like the eyes and other parts. So I'm going to let you guys watch the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. Walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town.
down to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul So here I'm just doing the final adjustment from the, the flowers. Some dark shadows and to make more dimensional. So this is the final result. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.